I'm Jill Morris, and we're here at Pemberton Elementary with my kindergarten class. Come join us today for a math lesson where we talk about representing numbers in different ways. All right, today we're going to start. Oh, put your hands down for a second. Would you listen? Please are being your eyes to me. You ready? Yeah. Today we're going to start our math lesson the same way we do every morning with our number sense routine, where you get to show your math thinking. In a minute, I'm gonna put up today's number, and I want you to think about how you can represent that number. How can you show that number? We've been talking about numbers zero to 30, and thinking of lots of different ways to show those numbers. Oh, hands down. In a minute, when you see the number, I don't want you to shoot your hand up. I want you to take a minute to think, and see if you can come up with more than one way to represent the number. Are you ready to see today's number? Yes. You're going to share your math thinking. Before you raise your hand, I want you to think of one, two, three, maybe even ideas on how you can represent the number. Are you ready to see it? Okay, here it is. Seven. Yes, today's number is seven. So wait, think a minute. No, nope. put your hands down. I want you to take a minute and think. How can you represent the number seven? Remember, this is a great way we can learn new ideas from our classmates. So I want to see your math thinking. I love it. When you have an idea of maybe two or three ways you can represent seven, put your hand up for me quietly. Can you do a body check for me? Thank you. Oh, I love these. Always, would you like to come up and share your math thinking? Can you turn and tell the class, how could you represent the number seven? Um, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going to do a die. She's going to draw a dice to represent the number seven. Awesome. I love the way Genevieve is looking so she can see a new way. Maybe she can make the number seven next time. Beautiful. Can you count that out loud for us always? Two. I love it. She counted seven dots on her dice. That's a wonderful way to represent the number seven. Henry, would you like to share your math thinking? I want to do a math problem. You would like to do a math problem. We would love to see it. So, Let's look. Three plus four equals seven. Three plus four equals seven. I love your math thinking. Thank you so much. I love all these that wonderful hands. The oh, I'm looking for quiet students. Yes, William pointed out some of our numbers are backwards. And is that okay? Yeah. Yes, today we're just sharing our math thinking. We're getting our ideas out. Hayes, did you have another idea you wanted to share with us? <laughs> we're just getting our brains going this morning. And you're going to do a picture. Okay. One. Nice and loud for us. Three. So I'm going to have to make a lot. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Seven. I love that. Great job, Hayes. Thank you for sharing your math thinking. I love how he, had, he did a picture to show the number seven. Let's get one or two more before we get into our lesson. Let's see. Jameson, would you like to share? Tell us what you're going to do to show your math thinking. How can we represent the number seven? I'm going seven? to do a number line. A number line, wow. Do you need help making your number line? Yes. All right, how about I make the line, and you can show us how to make the number seven. Can you count out loud? One. Oh. Awesome, you remembered our number line starts at zero. Good job. Awesome. Can you give zero a line there? So you remember that's where we start our counting. Okay, can you jump seven times? One, two, Big voice for me. Three, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your math thinking. Let's get one more friend. William, would you like to share your math thinking? What can I do? Looking for quiet. Can you turn and tell us how you're going to share your math thinking this morning? A domino. A domino. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Oops. That's okay, sweet pea. There you go. Don't worry about that bottom part because it's going to keep getting stuck for you. Uh-oh. Let's just, can you go across and do that part? Awesome job. All right, big voice for me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Oops. Oops. Let me help you, sweet pea. Sometimes, oh, there you go. Can, William, can you turn and explain to them why you did five and two? I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. Can you count them out loud for me all together? Awesome job. Five and two make seven. Thank you, William, for sharing your math thinking. All right, unfortunately, we are out of time because we have to get to our fun lesson. So let's do a quick body check. I want to see your hands in your lap, sitting in kindergarten ready position. If you didn't get to share, I know you're feeling sad and you want to share your ideas. So guess what? You're going to get to share with a partner and Mrs. Morris is going to come around so you can share with me your math thinking. Today, we are going to use our fun code and go mice so we're going to use our coding mice and you are going to get to play a game with a partner or two partners and make your mouse go to ways that represent the number seven each group is going to get a game board oh well, look but be careful guess what i'm going to try to fool you some of the numbers on here are not the number seven so you and your group are going to have to look carefully. Uh-oh. I don't have anything. Silly Miss Morris, you're right, William. Some of the squares are blank. Yay. And that is because you are going to help me finish my game board. You are going to get an, an opportunity, you and your partner, to add to the game board ways that represent yeah. seven. But oh. not on the game Oh, board. I'm going to ring my doorbell and make sure everyone's ready to listen. Do a quick body check. It's my turn. And then if you have questions, you can raise your hand. So in a minute, I'm going to send you and your partner with your game board and a Sharpie to work with. First, before, hold on one second, William. Look, Elliot, look. Before you write anything, I want you to look at the game board because you're going to make the number seven in a different way. So if you already see that I wrote the numeral seven, Think of a new way. Talk like with your partner. Dice. You're right. So if I've done the dice, then you try to come up with a new way. Just okay. go domino. Now, before we can play the game, it has to be done. When you are done, do you think I want you to come find me? No. 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 You can raise your hand, and I will come find you. And I'm going to trade you a Sharpie for your robot mouse. And then you and your partner are going to try to code your mouse to get to the number seven. Remember, if it's your partner's turn, are you going to touch the mice? No. No. You're going to let them do the touching, and you're going to do the coaching. That's right, Hayes. Thank you. The coaching with your voice, okay? We're going to be very kind to our partners and share our materials. Let's go over it again. So I'm going to give you the board and some Sharpies. First, you're going to finish the game board. When you're ready to trade for mice, you're going to raise your hand and I'm gonna to come to your group. You also, besides getting to get your mice, get to share with me your math thinking. So if you didn't get a chance to share earlier, now's your chance to tell me about your post-it and what you put on it. And I'm gonna go around to each group and see awesome thinking that you're doing, okay? Can you show me? But look, what do I have here? The numeral. Could I give you another post-it and you come up with a new way? Would that be okay? I'll be right there. Yes, I'll be right there, Rachel. I'll be right with you. Right here, sweetie. 
Well, give me your Sharpies and we'll trade. Today, Cohen, can you go first? Cohen, before you start, can you show for me how did you make the number seven? Which one's yours? Oh, you counted all the way to seven. Can you? I oh, Sorry, okay, one second. Cohen, can you count for me what you did on your post it? I love how you counted to seven. Zara, what did you do? I counted. You did a domino? Count it. Awesome job. All right, what's the new Okay, guys. Now it's I'm going like this. Henry, I'm going like this. I'll come bring you a new one. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna go for one. Wait, I gotta catch it. Okay, yeah, it's seven. Yeah, I don't have to hold it or put it down. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, I don't have to put it down. I'm gonna go for something. Here you go. See if this one works for me. Right now. Okay. okay, let's talk together. Can we do that? All right. Okay, well, we've already done the word right here. Right. Can we do a math problem? You don't know which one I'm going for. Oh, I think I did. Oh, did a math problem. She did three plus three plus one. Let's see. What did she do? Three plus three is six. Plus one more is seven. Okay. That was wonderful. What did you do? Did you do a domino? All right, I'll be back. Did you make it, Jameson? Awesome. All right. Can you count them for me? Oh, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. You did. Can you tell me about that one, Jameson? Three plus four equals seven. Three plus four equals seven. I love your math thinking. Whose turn is it? All right. Which one are you going to go for today? I'm going to go for this one. Is that a picture? Can you count it to make sure it's seven? Awesome. Let's see if you can code your mouse. No, sorry. 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 Oh, uh oh, oh. Jameis said whose turn? Okay, let, can we let her try again? Awesome. Oh, we're going to reset. I love how you cleared it out. Good job. Jameson, you are such a great coach. Can you coach with your words? With your words? With your, can you coach with your words so always can try? Oh, don't touch, don't touch. <gasps> yes, you did it. Good job. Is it your turn? Can you share with me where you're headed before you hit go? Before you hit go? Where are you headed? I'm headed to the numeral seven. You're headed to the numeral seven? Okay, let's see if it works. Oh, you turned the wrong way. That's okay. Is it okay to try again? That's all right. I love how you're using the cards to help you. Do you are you hearing William's coaching strategies? He said he thinks you might have turned the wrong way. You want to try the other way? Awesome. Awesome, I'll be there in just one second, okay? So straight. Straight. Jenny. All right, let's see if it works. Oh, it's turning. Oh, we forgot the last step. So what do you need to do next, Nora? You got to turn it and go one more. Thank yeah, you, sweetheart. You have to Thank you. Properly. Yeah, purple. That one's a purple. I love how you're continuing to try to figure it out. So you got straight, straight, turn it, turn, 
Oh, I see, you made it go back the other way. You're almost there. Oh my goodness. William, do you think you could help coach her to help her get to the numeral? Let's bring it back. And you might need one of these to help you. No, we're not going to use those. <laughs> Pace, can you go back to your group? Thank you. All right, let's talk about it. Wait, hold on one second. Let's clear it out. Can we work together? William, help us out. Okay, we need your help. Can you come over? So she needs to go how many straights? Two. One, two. And then are you going to turn? Orange. Turn orange. And then look, if she turns orange, she's right here. So she goes one, two, and she turns orange, she's here. What does she need to do now? All right, Nora. So look, are you looking, sweet girl? You're going to go straight. Then what do you have to do? Let, let her answer. What do you have to do? Purple and then straight. All right, you want to try it? I'll be right back one sec. Great job! Did you go one or two? I did two. You did two? Yeah. That's what I got right oh, You got it. Okay, awesome job. All right, whose turn is it next? Genevieve. Genevieve, can you clear it out and tell us which one are you going to go for today? Do you see a way to represent seven? Miss Morris, these cars don't stick that good. Can you count? <gasps> You're going to go for this one? Way to go. All right, Genevieve. Can we hold it tight so that Genevieve can have her turn? I love how you're taking a minute to think. How are you going to get it to seven? Or you could do the numeral. Which one do you want to go for? You're going to go for the numeral. Okay. Then you turn. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. Do we sometimes make mistakes? That's okay. We can try again. That's seven. You're off to a really good start. You want to try again? Okay. That's still seven. You're right, but we're going to let her go for the one she's, she's trying to go for that numeral. Turn. Awesome job, Genevieve. Are you watching to see what she's doing? Look, 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 look. I heard you're not coming. Look, it's seven. Way to go, Genevieve. Awesome job. Thank you for watching. Go! Go.